He tackles her up on his back. Stop. That's not acceptable behaviour. So, we have caught on video the world's most famous Connie Corso, who's meant to be one of the best trained Connie Corsos on the planet, and on the video, it's attacking another dog. So, as a canine behaviorist, I thought this would be a great opportunity for us to break down that footage. In the video, we have a 150 pound, glorious looking, muscle packed Connie Corso named Bruce Wayne, who is owned by Jason Corey, who has a huge YouTube channel, the biggest in the world on the breed of Connie Corsos, and one of the biggest in the world on dog ownership in general. Yet, my inbox is is still flooded with people wanting my opinion on what happened in this video. So let's dive straight into it. So we've got Bruce Wayne and what I believe is an American bully uh, playing together in the water. Bruce has found himself a stick, no issue. The American bully is definitely a bit higher energy, but Bruce is being a wonderful dog here. There's a little bit of communication going on there, but it's playful, no harm done. We're all okay. See, he acts to Brit. Just pause it there for a second. So, you may not have picked up on that, but there was a few crucial pieces of canine psychology, communication, and pack dynamics that just happened and unfolded right in front of us, leading up to this attack. The American Bully is clearly a higher energy dog than Bruce Wayne is. Bruce Wayne is definitely in a level of tolerating the behavior, but when he brought the stick out of the beach, and he wanted clearly a bitter piece. The American bully got too close to his face. Any face-to-face -face interaction with dogs is considered bad manners, is how we would see it. And Bruce Wayne has administered what we class as a verbal correction. Verbal corrections are something that I advocate massively for here at Fenrir. And in the dog-to-dog -dog communication world, that's most commonly seen with a growl. But he's letting that dog know, I don't like what you're doing. You need to stop it. And that is exactly what I advocate for when I teach people how to implement a successful verbal correction, is to have the ability to say, hey, stop doing what you're doing. It's very, very natural for dogs to communicate and interact this way. So let's carry on and see how this unfolds. He won't look at him. That's how accurate. Let's pause it there. Again, beautiful. Let's break down what happened. Again, American Bully, clearly the higher energy dog. Body posture starting to fill out a little bit. And Bruce is offering a very, not submissive body posture language, but clearly communicating to the dog that he wants a bit of space. He's doing that by not making direct eye contact. He's turning his head away from the American bully and he's turning the side of his body towards the American bully. That's a very non-threatening, but also non-playful way of communication. What that would be saying is, hey, I'm cool with you being here, but just chill out a little bit. I'm not, I'm not really in the mood to play. The American bully isn't picking up on those communication cues and is continuing to pursue Bruce Wayne towards the face. And in this situation, that verbal correction that was administered earlier has not been listened to. So Bruce has stepped up his verbal correction level a notch and has administered a bark. That is a higher level verbal correction. Let's carry on and see what happens. Let's pause it there. So again, you're clearly now seeing Bruce's uncomfortability with this situation, but you're also clearly seeing this dog not responding to the verbal correction. Now, this is a classic problem, not just between dogs, but also between humans and dogs. When I advocate for a verbal correction, one of the main rebuttals I get from people struggling is when I'm telling my dog no, I'm using a ah ah or a sh noise, and they just won't listen to me, they won't stop doing what they're doing. Well, right here in front of us, we have a beautiful example of a dog verbally correcting another dog, but that dog not listening to that verbal correction. So let's continue. Looks like, okay. So let's pause it there. 
So now things are clearly starting to escalate. Those verbal corrections are coming in. Bruce is being very, very clear. You can see at this pause spot that the hackles are up on his back. He's now starting to get frustrated. The dog is not listening and displaying basic canine to canine communication manners by backing down when told. A better socialized dog, a more well-rounded, more passive, more submissive dog, would have not even got to the point with the growl communication. The simple body language movements would have never allowed this to happen. This dog, I don't believe is being aggressive. I believe that it hasn't learnt these communication cues very well and is trying to instigate play, but doesn't know how to do that well. And that is why it's so important that you socialize your dogs well with ideally good quality, well-rounded, well-mannered role model dogs, especially when the dog is young. When dogs are playing, they're having back and forward conversations like we could never fathom. And those conversations are teaching them so much that we can't teach them. It's why I use role model dogs in my work as a behaviorist. It's why I use role model dogs with people's puppies all of the time. It's so important. But as you can see, things are starting to escalate. So let's carry on. And there we go. Let's pause it. So that was the attack. And up to this point, I've kind of let you go along with that being an attack because my inbox has been flooded with people saying, will, will you react to Bruce Wayne attacking that dog in the video? I wanna let this run on a little bit more so if we can play it again and let's just let this unfold a bit more and now see what happens. And now we're back to normal. All right, let's go guys. It's okay. Let's go play. And let's pause it there and done. The dog got the message, and as now, you instantly see that energy level, that taut, tight, upright body language of the American bully, that high energy tension dissipate instantly and come down. And then everybody was relaxed. Now, it is worth noting that Jason is one of my closest friends, and I truly believe that Bruce Wayne is if not the best, one of the best trained Connie Corsos on the planet. And I actually think what he did here was beautiful. Not an attack whatsoever. It looks aggressive. It sounds mean to the untrained eye or to the wrong person. They would consider that their dog had been attacked by a Connie Corso and would have responded completely inappropriately. How this panned out was absolutely glorious and how Jason and the owner of the American Bully responded was also perfect and made it a wonderful learning experience for the American Bully in particular. And that's because Bruce Wayne is an impeccably trained dog. Not an aggressive one, impeccably trained, impeccably balanced and impeccably mannered. And what he did is what we need to try and replicate with our dogs. He slowly started at a minimum level of correction to deter an undesirable behavior. That dog was being obnoxious, overly energetic, and coming too face to face. He gave him a warning with a growl, low level verbal correction. The dog didn't respond. That might be you saying, no, the dog didn't respond and he started to ramp up. So. Bruce ramped up his correction, just brought it just higher than the level of the behavior that the American bully was showing. And he turned it to a louder, larger verbal correction in the form of those barks to let the dog know, no, I'm being serious, stop. Right now, I need you to stop. That's not acceptable behavior. The American bully still didn't stop. So Bruce then took it up another level and administered what is actually a very low level physical correction. If you go back and look at that, at no point did Bruce bite the dog. It was a, a bluff charge and a more of a physical approach to correction. It's the kind of thing that we can do by standing big and proud and walking a dog down. But the thing I want you to take from this is that if your dog isn't respecting your verbal correction, it means that you are not following through. I have spoke to Jason about this clip and after this, it was perfect. Because after that, the American bully had learnt to respect those boundaries and that communication that Bruce Wayne displayed. So next time Bruce Wayne uses a lower level verbal correction, the dog will instantly respond because he has learned through that experience that Bruce will take it up a level and he will follow through. 
He won't back down. Too many people try to correct a dog, the dog ignores them, and then we have no way to follow through or we're not prepared to follow through. And that's what we absolutely must learn how to do. Now, with some dogs, and this is where choosing the right breed for you and the right temperament for you is incredibly important. An incredibly skilled uh, dog owner um, like Jason can handle a dog like a Connie Corso and Bruce Wayne. And when Bruce was a puppy, Jason did exactly the same thing to Bruce to teach him the same at adequate levels and that's what turned Bruce into a beautiful canine companion. But dogs that are more likely to be more dominant will test those boundaries harder than a more submissive passive dog will, which means that you might need to level up your correction and your authority to be able to get that message through to them. If you don't have the skill or the personality to do that, you should not be considering a breed that is prone to be that way. And you should consider a breed that is very responsive and sensitive to very low level corrections. Then you don't need to climb those levels of correction. And the last thing I want you to take from this video is that you can clearly see and how Jason handled this. I was proud of him. As soon as it happened, he didn't panic. Literally no emotion from him whatsoever. Jason knows and has the confidence that if he thought Bruce was going out of line with nothing more than a Bruce, hey, stop. Bruce would stop because he respects in the same principle that this bully needs to respect Bruce Wayne's boundaries. Bruce Wayne ex respects Jason's as his calm, consistent leader. But as soon as the correction was administered and that bully brought his energy level down and learnt his lesson, no emotion change. Good job, let's go. And we move on. There was no panic. There was no stress. It's those things that cause issues in interactions like this. When owners start to get anxious, when owners start to panic, when owners think it's much worse than it actually is. And the problem with dogs like Bruce Wayne is that they get very easily judged because of simply how they look. So if you want to check the whole video out, that's a short section from a beautiful vlog, Jason's channel, one of the best on YouTube. There'll be a link down to that video in the description box below. It'd be super cool if you go check him out, say hello, say he came from Fenrir, show him and Bruce Wayne some love. And if you want to see, in my opinion, the best trained Connie Corso on the planet, you can go and check out Jason's channel, spend some more time with Bruce Wayne. Again, awesome guy, awesome dog, and you'll learn tons. That is what we want to replicate. The last thing I want you to take from this is try and be more like Bruce Wayne and you'll have a better dog for it.